gospel of glory is the gospel of transformation. It is the gospel that takes us into the reigns of God. Immortality, death impossible. Divine health, sickness impossible. Divine protection, destruction impossible. What goes on in your mind controls what you do. So God can be the governor of your spirit and not have any governorship or influences on your mind. And whoever controls your mind controls your actions. Whoever controls your mind controls your thinking. And whoever controls your thinking controls who you are. So sanctification is the process of submitting the powers within your soul under the rulership of God's will. And that's what qualifies you for rapture, for the sudden glorification that comes at his appearance. And please understand understand that his appearance is for those who are his lovers. The Bible says eyes have no seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered any man's heart what God has prepared for them that love him. Not for those that he loves, for them that love him, for them that keep his word, for them that are sanctified. What is that which God has prepared? It is that inheritance. The inheritance is not for babies. Paul said, living the elementary doctrines of Christ. Let us go on unto perfection. And that brethren, I commend you to God into the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. Being built up in this context is referring to adding all the truths within your structure. No house is built with that cement. No house is built with that rocks. No house is built with that stones. No house is built with that bricks. No house is built with that irons. Being built up is coming to the full dimensions, full capacity of all divine truths. Let nobody fool you and tell you, oh, get born again. You've got it all. Hallelujah. Because you're born again, you have an inheritance. And that's a lie. That's heresy. That's overstretched truth. Each truth is a panel that must be joined to subsequent truths. The gospel is a detached separate truth that must come in with one. You must come to the epignosis of each of divine truths. Like grace is a truth, is one of the doctrines of Christ. Faith is one of the doctrines of Christ. Regeneration is one of the doctrines of Christ. Repentance is one of the truths in Christ. Redemption, remission, born again experience, and of course, praying in tongues and the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Word of God is full of divine truths that must come in oneness to build up a believer in order to qualify for glorification. You come to understand what is faith, different kinds of faith, so that you can come to the epignosis of faith. What is the way you then study about different kinds of life? How to lay hold on eternal life and what is life? You come to the epignosis of Zoe, eternal life. And then you move on to study about translation or redemption in Christ. You do your study. What's the difference between remission, redemption, and repentance? You come to the fullness, the full epignosis of these terms, and then you've grown. You now come to grace. You come to the fullness of grace. You know what grace is. That grace is not the license for sin. When someone comes to the full capacity of grace, suddenly you realize that grace was the ability of God in your reborn spirit to hate sin with passion. 